Hello everyone. Today I am going to present the story of Jadmashtami. During midnight, all the animals in the village farm were resting and sleeping. Two cows, Gauri and Dhenu were relaxing and chewing their food. Then suddenly, they heard sounds of ringing bells from the nearby village temple. They also saw that many villagers were going to the temple and they were singing bhajans and doing prayers. By seeing this, Dhenu was very surprised. She said, Friend, why the human beings are going to the temple tonight and especially in the midnight? I have seen humans going in the morning for their prayers in the temple. So, hearing this, Gauri told, Hmm, actually today is the festival of Janmashtami. The birth of Lord Krishna. That's why people are going in the midnight to offer prayers. Because Lord Krishna was born during midnight. That's why people are doing their prayers during the midnight hour. Hearing this, then you said, Oh, so it's Lord Krishna's birthday, Janmashtami. I have heard so much about Lord Krishna. Could you please tell me more about Janmashtami? Gauri said, sure. So, today I am going to tell you the story of Janmashtami. Long time ago, in Mathura, there was a cruel king Kans. Mother Earth was burdened due to his heinous acts and cruelty. That's why one day Mother Earth took the form of a cow and went to Lord Vishnu. Mother Earth and other devtas requested Lord Vishnu to help them. Lord Vishnu promised them that he will take an avatar, a human avatar and will born on the planet Earth. So, after that, here in Mathura, Kans was busy in the marriage of his daughter Devki with Vasudev. People of Mathura were busy in the celebration and they were happy by this union. When Devki was going with her husband Vasudev, then Kans told, I want to drive the chariot for you too. By seeing his brotherly love for his sister, people were very happy. During their journey, suddenly the sky turned dark and thunder clapped in the sky. After that, there was an Akashwani. Akashwani is the sound from sky. Hey guns, your reign of terror will end soon. Devki's eighth child will be the cause of your death. Hearing this, Kans was very scared for his life. He thought of killing Devki. But Vasudev pleaded and said, O oh Kans, please don't harm Devki. In any way, she will never cause any harm to you. Please spare her life. Hearing this, Kans as
allowed them to leave and he went back to Mathura. After few months, Devki gave birth to her first child. Devki and Vasudev were very happy by seeing their first child. But suddenly Vasudev realized that he has to hand over the child to Kans. So with a heavy heart, he took the baby and went to Mathura. He said, Kans, now this you can take this baby. This is our first child. Kans said, I don't have any problem with your first child, so you can take the child. Hearing this, Vasudev was very happy. He took the baby and went back. After few days, Narad Muni visited Kans and said, Rajan, Vasudev and Devki's children would be your enemies. You have to be careful about it. By this, Kans became very angry. He imprisoned Devki and Vasudev. He also imprisoned his own father, Ugrasen. And after that, he started conquering the nearby states of Mathura. People were very sad because of his cruelty. Their lives were miserable. And in the prison, whenever Devki gave birth to a child, Kans snatched her child and threw the child in the air. Every time, he killed the child in front of Vasudev and Devki. Their misery was not having any end. They were very sad. Nobody was there to protect them and their children. In this way, cruel Kans killed seven children of Devki and Vasudev. But as there is day after night, in the same way, there is light after darkness. Devki's face was glowing day by day and days were becoming brighter and brighter. It was the time for the birth of her eighth child. Kans ordered all the cars to inform him immediately when the eighth child was born. During midnight hour, Devki gave birth to the eighth child. Her face was glowing. There was a divine glow on her face. Suddenly, there was an Akash Vani. Hey Vasudev, took this child to your friend's house, Nand, across river Yamuna. Nand stayed in the village of Gokul, which was across river Yamuna. You have to keep this child near to Yashoda and bring her newborn baby girl back to Mathura. Hearing this, Devki and Vasudev were very surprised, but they decided to follow the instructions given in the Akashwani. The night was very dark and suddenly Vasudev realized that his chains fell off. And the main door opened by itself. All the guards were asleep. Vasudev put the baby 
in a wicker basket and went near to river Yamuna. But the weather was stormy. He thought how he would cross the river Yamuna. It was raining heavily. He prayed to God to help him. And a miracle happened. The river parted to give way to Vasudev and the newborn baby. A ten-headed snake called Sheshna was guarding and protecting the baby from the pouring rain. Vasudev and Vasudev with the baby reached Gokul safely. There he placed the newly born baby near to Yashoda who was sleeping. He quietly took the new girl baby and bring her back to Mathura. After some time, the guards woke up and they saw a baby girl near to Devki. They immediately ran to King Kans to inform him about the eighth child. Kans came there and saw the baby girl. He snatched the baby girl from Vasudev and Devki. They pleaded, please don't hurt this child. She is not going to do any harm to you, Kans. But he didn't listen to them. He snatched the baby from them and threw her up in the sky. But a miracle happened. The baby girl turned into a goddess. She said, Hey Kans, your end is near. The protector of the earth has been born. Meanwhile, in the village Gokul, everybody was happy by seeing Nand and Yashoda's newborn baby. They were celebrating his birthday. Priest gave him the name Krishna. Krishna was very mischievous during his childhood. And in Mathura, Kans was very worried how to find Devki's eighth child. He was discussing the matter with his demon friends. One of the demons suggested, Why don't you take the help of your sister Putna? So Kans called Putna. Putna arrived and she said, Brother, don't get worried. I will find Devki's eighth child. And she took the disguise of a beautiful lady. She went to nearby villages and was killing all the newborn babies who were born during that month. Finally, she reached Nun's house. There she found Bal Krishna. She got the chance to took she got the chance to took the baby outside the house. When Krishna was missing in the house. Yashoda was very worried. Yashoda, Nan and other villagers were searching for Krishna. After some time, they saw Krishna was playing and a demoness was lying dead near to him. During his childhood, Krishna showed many miracles and 
it is believed that Lord Krishna, who is the avatar of Lord Vishnu, help those who follow the path of truth and goodness. So if you like this story, then please click the like button and share with your family and friends. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe the channel on YouTube, Pooja Singh Stories. Till then, keep listening and sharing stories. Thank you.